Hello, this is Adrian from 3D Proto. This time I would like to show you how to set up the auto bed leveling procedure on your Reprap 3D printer using an inductive distance sensor and an aluminum heat bed like the MK3. All you need to have is a conductive sensor like this one mounted about 1mm above the tip of your hot end. Additionally, you will need a little PCB to reduce the output voltage from 12V from the sensor to 5V as an input for the printer board. You can easily set up a simple voltage divider for that. This little PCB here can be insulated by a heat shrink tube. Connect the output of the voltage divider to the input of the minus Z end stop and the ground to the printer board ground. You need to use a conductive heat bed with a certain thickness without using any glass sheet, otherwise it won't work with an inductive sensor. I am using this MK3 aluminum heat bed and print directly on the aluminum surface. This MK3 heat bed is supporting an SMD thermistor soldered directly on the plate, so you don't need to stick any thermistor on the back and there is no insulating gap in between the thermistor and the heat bed. Marlin firmware is supporting the auto bed leveling procedure with G29 command, which can be used in Slicer's custom start G code command window. You should always run home all access command before probing, to start the procedure always from the home position, otherwise you could crash your carriage while moving to X and Y direction for the measurement positions. After calculating the bed level, you can see the z-axis moving constantly to compensate deviations in bed height. And this is the outcome. If the heat bed temperature is set properly to 110 degrees Celsius for the first layer and slightly reduced for the other layers, you have a very straight 90 degree angle on the edge and also no wrapping. This is the big difference to a heat bed with imprecise temperature measurement. This one here was some degrees too hot. You can find all information about setting up the auto bed leveling with an inductive sensor and aluminum heat bed on 3d-proto.de. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy 3D printing.